Hi, this is PC Roger. And in this short uh, screencast, what I want to show you is how to recover some data for a user who uh, they had their computer crash. The hard drive was okay, but the motherboard died. So what I did was I took the hard drive out and using a uh, Vantech uh, serial ATA slash IDE to USB adapter, I connected it to a USB port on this machine. And that drive now shows up as local disk F. So what I want to do here is uh, I want to go in here to this person's profile. It's under the CCW. And here under favorites, I want to just grab all of these. I'm going to right click, just drag it down to my desktop and select copy here. So now we've got uh, that person's favorites. And you could also grab any documents. Uh, there aren't any, uh, they, they store the data on a network drive, so we don't worry about that. But this is just the pretty much convenience items. One of the things they say is, well, when I go into Outlook, my, my email addresses don't show up. And they're not talking about contacts, they're talking about when you start to type an address, the, uh, the list that shows up to kind of suggest. Well, we're going to show that here. It's under Application Data, and then under Microsoft, and then under Outlook. It says Outlook.nk2. And you'd have no idea if you hadn't looked it up, but that is the file that has those names in it. And we're going to right click and drag that to our desktop and say copy here. Then they also want some macros they had in Word. So we're going to go down here under Microsoft to Templates. And then here you see there is normal dot dot. And that is the template, uh, kind of the generic template uh, file for Word where it stores a lot of settings and some of the basic macros that they might create. I'm going to right click that and I'm going to copy it to the desktop. And we can put these on a USB thumb drive then and take it to this person's machine and just go into their uh, current profile on their new machine and copy that into that directory and there'll be a normal dot dot there and we'll just rename that dot old or something and put the new one there. And we'll copy the favorites in where they go and we will copy that Outlook names in there. And again, renaming the one that's currently there with a you know, .bak extension or something like that. And by uh, closing Outlook and reopening it, uh, hopefully it should pick up that new file. So that's all there really is to it. We've, we've used this uh, Vantech uh, adapter to connect this hard drive to any machine with USB port and uh, just gone in here to explore and this, this drive now shows as a local disk, shows up as F on this machine and just copy them to the desktop. The next step would be then to copy them to just the thumb drive and take them to the, the, new, the person's new machine. That's it for this video. I hope it's helped you out. Please come to my website, www.pcroger.com. I've got a lot of other videos and helpful information on there, and you can sign up for my free e-letter. Thanks for watching.